In this video, I'm sharing four small mindset shifts that you can adopt right now to completely transform your energy. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Silkina. On this channel, we talk about spirituality and mindfulness and especially mindfulness for busy people. So I'm here to help you find calm and peace anytime, anywhere, absolutely no more excuses. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to share with you the small mindset shifts that I was able to adopt throughout the years since my spiritual awakening journey and how that has completely transformed the way I live my life, the way I experience life, the way I look at myself, the way I look at others, and the way I look at my whole entire life journey. That makes me sound like I've been on earth for a very long time. I'm only 31 years old, if you can't tell. But in all honesty, these mindset shifts have completely allowed me to take control of my life and to become responsible for what I'm creating here on earth. So if you're interested in that, then definitely keep watching the video. Also, before we get into it, give this video a thumbs up right away. I mean, why wouldn't you? And also subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Let's just get right into it, all right? The first mindset shift that completely changed my life is coming to terms with the fact that nobody is responsible for your own life. Now this particular mindset shift can be very difficult for many people because a lot of us are not taught to take radical responsibility for our own life. A lot of us actually wait for other people to give us permission to live life the way we want to live life, if that makes sense. But what I've realized is you have to create opportunities for yourself. And most importantly, you have to create time and make time for things that you absolutely love. There is no point waiting around, not starting, or waiting for you to feel ready or be ready. And I feel that when I get into that mindset where I want to feel ready or I don't want to start something because I'm waiting for myself to be a little bit more ready, it's almost like my subconscious waiting for other people to give me permission to do what I want to do. So for example, starting this YouTube channel is just an example. If I wanted to wait for myself to be ready, A, that day will probably never come, or B, I'm just waiting for someone to say, you, you probably should start a YouTube channel. And then I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe that's a good idea. But if you're just waiting around for that, if you're waiting for somebody to tell you what to do, you're probably gonna be waiting around forever because nobody will hand you your dream life. Nobody will create the life that you want to live. You have to be confident enough to say, this is the life that I want to live. This is the life that I want to create and I'm going to go for it. And that is terrifying because if you succeed, great, it's all on you. But if you not fail, but if it doesn't work out, then it's also all on you. I don't want to use the word failure because I don't truly believe in um, failing. I actually believe if things don't work out for you, it's it was an opportunity for you to learn. And that has been my motto for the longest time. Do the thing, learn from it. If it succeeds, it worked out in your favor. If it didn't succeed, pivot. I guarantee you all of the things that didn't particularly go well in your life or things that didn't happen as per your plan taught you something, at least one thing. If you sit down with your journal or you even sit down with yourself and think about that, I guarantee you, you learned something from that experience. So if you've been 
wanting to do something, create something, if you've been wanting to start a business or start a YouTube channel, whatever it is, this is your sign to just do it. Just start. Because if that's what you want, then chances are it is for you. And if it ends up not being for you, you will learn something from it. So do not wait for permission from anybody else to tell you what to do or to tell you that what you're doing is correct or valid. The most important thing is you have to believe that you can achieve the thing that you want to do because why would you go for something that you believe that you can't even do, right? Like if I truly believed that me making this video is not impacting anybody, then what is the point of me doing it? Like that's not enough to get me out of bed. Like I'm not getting out of bed to do things that I know won't work out. Like obviously you need to believe, like a part of you has to believe that this is something that is possible for you. So stop waiting around for permission. This is a lot of things that I hear a lot of people say after they watch The Secret, which is I'm just gonna visualize everything and everything is going to come true and I don't have to do anything. And when I was 17 years old, being exposed to The Secret, I truly thought that was it. <laughs> like I was like, I'm just gonna make a vision board and it's all gonna come true. And visualizing is such a big part of my life. I do it every single morning but you have to take aligned action and you have to create opportunities for yourself. And it doesn't matter if it's little steps every single day, as long as you are taking those steps towards something that you truly love. All right, did you get that? That was your sign to stop waiting around and take radical responsibility for your life. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. All right, the second mindset shift that I adopted, and it's kind of similar to the first one, but it's everybody starts somewhere. Do not get caught up on likes, on comments, on followers. A lot of people think that if they want to show up, especially in this capacity, like in front of people and on social media, they believe that they either have to become an overnight success or if they do it for six months or one year and they don't see the growth that they were expecting to see, that it's not for them. And that is just completely untrue. You have to give the space for your vision and your goals to blossom and to flourish. And sometimes that doesn't take a month. And it doesn't take six months. Maybe it takes a year or two years or four or six. Wait, did I say that? Whatever it is, you have to keep at it and you have to keep going. And if it's something that you're truly, truly interested in, then it shouldn't even feel so overwhelming. And by that, I mean, if you cannot imagine yourself doing the thing that you want to do for at least six years, so that's kind of my number. Um, whenever I start to get into this mindset where I'm like, oh, but nobody's watching my videos and you know, nobody's listening to my podcast, you know, nobody's following, following me on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, but have you hit the six year mark? So I give myself like that timeline. Maybe for you, it's it's a year. And then you kind of reassess. For me, it's it's six years. So it's like if I've been doing this for six years and I see absolutely no growth, then fine. Then I will kind of sit down and be like, all right, maybe it's time to reassess. But when I get whiny and I start to complain and I'm like, <laughs> nobody cares. And I'm like, but has it been six years? No literally been two weeks since I've been on YouTube <laughs> I know my mind is hilarious so don't get caught up on the vanity metrics everybody starts somewhere whenever you're feeling overwhelmed that way I urge you to go to your favorite youtubers page and click sort by oldest and see their first ever video and see how they have evolved and also don't get caught up on like 
oh, I need to have the perfect camera. I need to have this. I need to have that. Of course, I'm talking about people that want to show up like publicly like this, but this doesn't just apply to them. It applies to everyone. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you want to tell somebody that you love them. Maybe you have a crush on somebody and you're like, I'm afraid to, to speak my truth. But guess what? If you want that dream life with that person, you got to tell them. You have to start somewhere. And there's no shame in starting messy. That was another thing that my fears were kind of stopping me from, from doing. It was masked in like procrastination and perfectionism. I needed everything to be perfect or else I just didn't want to show up. And then I have to remind myself this, like everybody starts somewhere. Or maybe you're on your spiritual awakening journey and you know, the healing journey is so profoundly tiresome sometimes. And it can get super overwhelming, but sometimes I wish that I was way more forward than where I am right now. And I just have to remind myself, like, you know what? Everyone at one point was in this position. And it's really just a day by day thing, which is why I love mindfulness because it allows you to take account of your day and like your life moment to moment. And all of these moments count. So whatever that you're thinking about doing, it's similar to the first tip, but it's like just understanding that you can start wherever you are right now. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be better. You don't have to look better. I had this bad body image day yesterday where I didn't want to film and my doubts and my fears, literally my mind was telling me, film this video in a month because you're, you're probably going to lose weight in a month. And if I wasn't aware, I would have easily identified with that thought. And I would have been like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to not upload any videos on YouTube because I want to be a little bit thinner. I come from a background of eating disorder. I'll probably share my story here someday, but like those are the things that you have to be so aware because your thoughts will deceive you from time to time. And it doesn't mean that like, you know, your brain is broken. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, it's just our conditioning, right? I mean, anytime I hear thoughts like that, the first thing I say to myself is, where did I hear this? Or like, where did this come from? Because it did not, it does not come from the true me. So it's really important to be super aware. All right. So again, if you're wanting to start something, do it because everybody starts somewhere. You don't have to wait till you're perfect already. You deserve to start today. All right. The third mindset shift, <laughs> forgot what this video is about, is to celebrate the little things. This is so important because if you are not proud of the small things that you have achieved throughout the month, throughout the weeks, even throughout the day, then that does not give you the inspiration and the motivation to keep going forward. Like my bad body image day yesterday, or just like an overall bad day. I was just not having it. You know, everyone was annoying to me and I had to take multiple timeouts throughout the day to just kind of breathe and come back to myself. If you don't celebrate yourself for doing the little things, and, and yes, yes, with the little things, I mean, even if you were a little kinder to someone today, like that's something worth celebrating. Like yesterday during my bad day, I didn't scream once and I wasn't mean to anybody once. Like I really you know, took my energy and I was like, okay, this is my shit dealing with it. And I was like, Hey, I'm so proud of myself for not being frustrated at anyone because I have had bad days where I take it out on someone. And then after the end of the day, I'm like, shit, I feel so guilty. Like I shouldn't have done that. You know, of course I give myself grace during those times. 
because I'm spiritual. But the point is you don't have to wait for big, grand accomplishments for you to celebrate yourself. There are so many things throughout the day that are worth celebrating. And if you don't kind of stop and pause and reflect and ask yourself like, what did I do today that I'm proud of? What did I do today to make myself feel better, to make other people feel better? These are things that are worthy of celebration as well. For me, even if I have a deep connection with a friend, like maybe I listened to that friend a little deeper or I had an amazing conversation. Like for me, I'm like, wow, good job. Like you really listened to that friend today. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be anything that you physically do. You can celebrate your feelings too. Like if you feel a little better today, if you were a little kinder today, like celebrate those things. So I encourage you to think about what small things can you celebrate about yourself right now? And if you cannot find one thing, you're lying. Literally calling you out, you're lying because you can, you can find one small thing. Maybe you got along with your parents better or your spouse better. Those are things worth celebrating as well. Because when you celebrate your accomplishments where um, in those moments where you're embodying love and kindness, like these things subconsciously inspire you and motivate you to be better and to do better and then you end up showing better like this morning when there was a literal storm i didn't let that get in the way i was like this is a beautiful day and guess what me showing up like this i'm actually going to celebrate this like this is a win because i would never have done this before like with a literal storm i would why do i keep saying it literal storm like you know what storm is i don't know why i say that but yeah so celebrate your little wins. You deserve it. And let me know what you're celebrating in the comments below. Truly, I want to celebrate with you. So let me know what small wins that I can celebrate alongside you. I would be happy to cheer you on. Like I'm your cheerleader. Okay, the last mindset shift is to expect good things. Love this one. I started to flip my what ifs. I started to think, what if things were working out for my favor? What if God was on my side? What if the universe was on my side? What if I'm actually getting closer to the life of my dreams? I started adopting the mantra that good things are just around the corner because I was stuck in a mentality that things were happening to me and, you know, people are not supportive of my journey. And I started to expect good out of people as well. I started to stop thinking that people were out to get me or they didn't want to see me succeed which was such a weird belief and I just started to expect good things and I started to stop thinking that everything or everyone was out to get me somehow and this is probably one of the most important mindsets that I adopted because I was tired of feeling like the victim I was tired of feeling like everything that was happening in my life was not working out for me and that it was just pushing me backwards and not allowing me to push myself forward and closer to my goals or my visions or the outcome that I desire. I simply started asking questions like, what if I got everything I wanted? What if all the work that I put in today will be worth it down the line in the future? You have the choice to ask yourself these questions every single day and you have the choice to respond to how things are unfolding in your life. When something happens in your life, you have the option to respond how you want to respond. 
and I choose to respond with love and I choose not to react. Now, of course, this mindset shift can be a little bit tricky, especially if you're used to seeing things the other way around and it's almost like reflex for you when something happens, you're like, of course it would. People always talk about Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And if that's how you look at life, then yeah, things will probably go wrong. And this has nothing to do with not feeling your feelings or bypassing or toxic positivity. This has nothing to do with that. Like your ability to respond and and or react to the things that are happening in your life is completely up to you. You have the power to change that perspective and you have the power to see it from a different perspective. If that's difficult for you, just expect one good thing. Maybe the mantra that you tell yourself every single day is, things are working out for me. Things are working out for me. Nobody's out to get me. So I hope that you adopt these small mindset shifts that I have shared today. I hope that they helped you in any shape, way, or form. If you liked this video, please click the like button because it shows me that you enjoy videos like this and that you want more content like this. And please also comment below what are some of the things that you're going to expect in your life that are good? What are some of the things that you want to celebrate in your life? I forgot the two other mindset shifts that I shared. So let's just end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week. If you like spirituality, mindfulness, and if you're a busy person, this is literally absolutely the channel for you because I'm a busy person. I'm proud of it. And I share tips on how you can be mindful throughout your day. So if you like that, then definitely subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And anytime I upload, you get a notification. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to be in your presence today. I hope to see you next week. Bye. Hi friends. Things the other way around, then it like, we talk about oh my god okay ignore my candle it's completely safe last take